John Dunnigan and Carside Coaching. Super good. This is a concept that my own good friend, Will Wu, expressed to me while I was actually out in LA teaching his much older brother. Uh, there's videos about that that will be available. Well, super good is this. Scott is slicing the golf ball badly. He's losing massive amounts of distance and he's cutting across the ball fiercely from outside to in. Old Donegan says, okay, listen, I can see it. Now, the interesting thing is, does not have an open face grip at all. Got a closed face grip. So he's really slicing it all with the path cutting across the ball. How do you know the difference? If you're slicing it with an open face, the ball should take off to the right. This ball's taking off to the left and then slicing hard. On top of that, because he's swinging so far outside in, to the left, he's hitting the ball off the heel, which is actually adding more slice spin. Heel hits add slice spin, toe hits add draw spin. Yes, actually, toe hits can reverse the effect of a slice golf swing. Okay. So, we get Scott doing something different. We're going to work on getting the club face, or the club path to the right of the club face. And it's getting interesting. Now he's pushing the golf ball straight off to the right. And I go like this. Now listen, that is not the path resulting in this. The problem is here is you're pointing both the face and the path to the right as you do this. So we've got to keep this face a little bit more closed and I might give him a discus thrower hand motion. I might feel a little closing the club face going across, a little top spin around the, around the net post forehand or table tennis. Uh, anyway, so he starts getting it. And he hits one, what we can only call left of Nancy Pelosi. Here's a driving range, here's a 10th hole, and he hits it right in the middle of the 10th fairway. And he's like, oh man. And Will, the motor learning doctor and uh, very smart guy says, no, 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 that's super good. And I went, oh, oh, I'm stealing that one forever. Super good. He did what I asked him to do so well that the ball went way too far left. And I think that was a brilliant comment from his brother Say no, that's not bad, that's actually super good. And then we were able to, right from that moment, to go, okay, now, let's get the path to the right and the face the same. Hit a straight push to the right. Now, let's get the, the face more to the left, path to the right again, hit the super good. Now let's get in the middle of it. And three days later, I got a very, very happy uh, text saying, and I quote, broke 80 for the first time on this golf course, Hacienda. And it wasn't even close, it was a 77. Thank you. Well, that's pretty cool. Then the two brothers teamed up and did great in their next club tournament. I think this is very interesting. Most people can't handle that super good shot. They look at it as super ultra bad. Instead of, ooh, that is different in the right direction. There, right there, the judgment is what impedes the learning and the progress with golf. So, don't judge, right? Sometimes I'll, I'll say to the kids, go, I'll tell you when you're good enough to judge. Right now, just do what you're supposed to do. The judge is the one that literally impedes you from doing anything different because you don't want to hit it bad. So I want you to change bad to super good. Unless it's in the old direction, then it is bad. Done again out.